1993, I asked this Native American woman, where can I go to be safe? What places are safe? And she said, Billy, there's no safe places, there's only safe people. There's a culling that is happening in the earth. There's a culling of humanity. You can either come from a place of fear or a place of love. 2012 is the date that most people now are focused on. And many of them are thinking it's the end of the world, the end of uh, everything, the doom and gloom scenarios. I don't see it that way. The people that are worried about 2012 should get off it because 2012 is a number. The problems that we face aren't complicated at one level. They're very simple, I think, which is just that we've disconnected ourselves from the natural world. The wisdom of it is that the Earth is our mother and she gives birth to us. And we don't treat our mother very well sometimes. We've got all the resources to create the sort of golden age that everybody's looking for. You know, what we need is the golden agents. <laughs> you know, the people who are going to say, okay, we are going to do this. Indigenous prophecy, the world over, talks about this time of enlightenment, a millennium of peace. Those that are above shall come down. Those that are below shall rise up. And where the spiritual evolution is taking us, I think is very, very exciting if you choose to become curious about it, and even more exciting if you become conscious of it. Daily, at least, you spend some time being conscious of your connection with the wonder and energy of life. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity for us to actually fall back in love with this planet, our home, to fall back in love with each other. It's about falling in love. It's like a love story. Human beings falling in love with Mother Earth, with nature, with the animals, with themselves, and with the magic of life itself, because that's what's going to save the planet. Imagine what the tribe can do.